everyone welcome back to my channel in today's vlog I'm gonna be taking you along on my big food shop I'm gonna be showing you a little bit of what France has to offer they have the most incredible fresh produce and bio goods and as much as I would love to shop purely fresh and bio it's just a little bit unrealistic for our busy family of four we've got a greedy man in the house and it would be hard to keep up with but I do feel like we're in a really good routine so I'll show you what works best for us and I'll also include the total costs as I know there's some curiosity on the cost of food in the south of France so I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching Good morning everyone, welcome back to another vlog. It's a foodie one. All you foodies are gonna love this. I'm gonna be sharing our big food shop day. I've got a big food shop to do. Things are looking bare. Um, this is when Ryan starts to get a little bit twitchy when he opens the fridge and there's not much in there. So I better go. Um, yeah, the last time I shared one similar to this. Things have changed since then, I think. Um, I go to four different shops now, which you're probably thinking, what? Could not be bothered with that. But three of them are all next door to each other. So I like to go to the Aldi first for all my bulk buy stuff, for stuff that stays in the cupboards for longer, all my cleaning products, tins, bits that go in the freezer, um, whatever I can get from there first, I'll get from there first. I like to get the big packs of chicken and stuff from there as well. And then I go on to the Intermarché for my branded bits. So dog food, um, there's this pop that we like to get. It's like a dilute sugar-free pop. I can't remember the brand name. I like to get that from there. And yeah, Actimel's, bits like that. And then there is the fresh fruit and veg shop next door which is absolutely incredible um so obviously we get our fresh fruit and veg, veg from there and then next door to that is the boulangerie slash patisserie where we get croissants baguettes and the bakery bits basically so that is big food shop day i go to all four i do that um, probably once every 10 days I'll do a big shop day like today and then in between we just nip to the boulangerie and the fruit and veg shop usually for the bits sometimes we nip to the intermarché as well if we run out of say coffee or something like that um, so yeah I'll show you everything that I buy I'll also make a definite note of what I spend in each shop as well and I'll share that with you um, yeah, should we go and have a look in the cupboards right now? Because the cupboards are looking a little bit sparse. On a big food shop day, I always like to give them a quick wipe over. Just look what we've got, look what we need and take it from there. Also guys, if you're enjoying my content and like to watch my videos, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it, which means you'll get a little notification every time I post a new video, so you'll never miss one and I would really appreciate it. Thank you. So the fridge guys is looking rather empty. We've got very lonely yogurt up there. We have got our cheese box there with a few cheeses left in couple of crab sticks left in there. We've got uh, anchovies and a pack of salmon. Therefore, more for me, like the kids and Ryan don't eat that stuff. Bit of cream cheese. Yeah, we've only got two season meals left. Um, we get another delivery of these on Saturday. And yeah, things are just looking a little bit bare. This is the dilute pop 
that I love to get. So it's got zero sugar, it's this brand and they do all different flavours, it's gorgeous. We're not keen on this one though, I must admit. This is the mint one and um, yeah, it reminds us a little bit of mouthwash. Going on to the cupboards. So this is like the breakfast cupboard really, which is again, a little bit sparse. We've got a couple of croissants and um, waffles. The kids love a traditional sugary French like continental style breakfast. So this cupboard is usually always full with madeleines, croissants, all sorts, and they'll have a bit of fruit with that as well. So it is a very sugary breakfast, but it's just what they like. Um, and they don't have a ton of sugar throughout the rest of the day. These milks, I'm always stocked up on the milk. This is from Aldi. I always get oat milk. I'm just not great with dairy. I've got a little bit of intolerance to it. And I've tried a lot of oat milks, I've tried the Alpro and things like that, but we all like this one the best. It's a treat cupboard. They go in here once a day for their snack time. It's always full of goodies. So this is actually a little bit bare for their treat cupboard. So we'll be getting some more sweets today and things. They just like to always have a nice choice, a good selection. In here we've got... Um, some honey. Ryan loves to pick on fruit and nut. If I've got plenty of fruit and nut in, raw rye, um, he tends to go in there instead of getting a meal. So I do need to buy some more nuts and things today. We've got pastas, rice, uh, quinoa, things like that. Big bag of little pasta at the bottom. We use the coconut milk, some coconut cream for curries. He likes his tins of mackerel. These are his favourite in the, um, oh tuna sorry, tuna in the lemon sauce, he loves that. Tea, sugar, things like that, we've got, as you can see, stocked up on fizzy water. Um, and then at the bottom we've got normal water. And like I said, the garage is full of more water. This is rice cupboard, could not tell you what any of this is. It's his cupboard for training, all his like gels and stuff that he needs for training. Righty then, come on my gorgeous, let's go. I have got the gorgeous boy with me today helping, mummy's helper, gets him off the gadgets for a couple of hours you know. arrived at supermarket number one, Aldi. Now this is the biggest shop out of all of them. Like I said, it's where I get the bulk buys from. I did go through a spell where I used to get everything from here. I used to try and do it like that. So I used to try and get the fruit and veg or the fresh stuff, but didn't work. Cause I do find that, not speaking for all Aldis, but definitely this one, the fruit and veg is usually on the turn. Um, so yeah, we just get bulk stuff. And what I was finding as well, I've not mentioned this, is when I used to walk around with a massive heaving trolley, I used to get the strangest looks. It's not like the UK, because I find that a lot of people in the UK, they go and do, say, the weekly food shop or whatever, and they get a big, massive trolley full. Well, that's not really known here. So people look at you a bit like odd. And it took me a while to work out, but they just don't do big shops here in France it seems. They tend to get a few bits to last them a couple of days. They go shopping every couple of days. Some people even go every day. They have the routine where they knit to the boulangerie, get the fresh bits and big, big food shops is not really a thing here. The only people that I've seen doing it are like restaurant owners because they'll have a lot of the same stuff in the trolleys. Um, but yeah, Anyway, it used to be dead awkward when I was like unloading my ginormous food shop onto the checkout and there'd be people behind me with a few bits in a basket. So we don't do that anymore. Are you pushing today? Yeah, I'm pushing. Yeah. Because I'm good at pushing. Wow, it's very quiet today. 
usually much busier. Mm -hmm. We will see. Come on. Alright, so we're skipping the fruit and veg. Just like I said, we don't do that here. Meat. Always get some meat from here. They do really good value. Big packs of chicken breast. the Intermarché. Love it here. They've got everything. They've got all your fresh counters for your meats, your cheeses, everything like that, even though I try to avoid those because I try to get lots from the Aldi. Um, then they've got all your branded things. They've got everything. But if I was to do a full shop here all the time, the quantity that Rai eats for all four of us, it's just unrealistic. We'd be spending far more than we need to on food. So I just come here for my branded bits. So we're gonna go and get them now. And then we're gonna go to the lingerie and the fruit and veg shop, which is only next door. <laughs>
right then, we are back. Um, Nancy's spied all the goodies. First of all, I'm gonna show you the Aldi stuff. <gasps> Yes, I know, darling. Lots of ice lollies. We're going through tons of them at the minute, aren't we? Because it is so hot. We spent at the Aldi a hundred and thirty-five sixty-five. That's what we spent. Well, at least we don't have to go shopping anywhere. Um, and this is what we got. Oh my god, you got the brown ones. Are they Coca-Cola or chocolate? Coca-Cola. So I have oh, one on the way home. Oh. Come on. I haven't. Just have one then. And leave one. <laughs> right, so this is what we got from the Aldi. I'll show you this shop first. Like I said, 135.65. We've spent and we got a decent two and a half bags full. Um, so let me spin the camera and I'll show you. Like I said, these are like my bulk buys. Whatever I can get from there first means I'm saving money. So we got a lot of ice lollies and stuff because the weather's very hot guys and um, these are much needed at the minute. Um, sweets to go in the kids' sweet cupboard, uh, yogurts, nuts, then I've got my meats. I don't tend to eat a lot of red meat. Ryan does. He loves his sausages. Um, and we've got mince because mince is just a dead easy tea isn't it for the kids so we do usually have mince once a week these i don't know what these are i don't know, even know if i want to know what they are but i really do like these they like they look like sausages they're like souffles they like explode in the oven and i just love them but like i said i'm not sure i actually want to know what's in them but i do like them Little bit of freezer food, don't judge. Us mums do need a little break sometime. And then we got some toiletries and cleaning bits. I didn't need tons of cleaning bits because, oh, in fact, I'm sure there's some wash tablets missing off here. Bear with, I need to just check that. Yes, we left the wash tablets in the car, so they're also included in that shop. Um, yeah, just a few cleaning bits and a few toiletries, Ryan's moisturisers, he's not too fussy about his moisturisers, as long as they're not too oily, so we've got these two to try. We got some UV50 for the face, and yeah, quite a good shop there, 135 Next we have got the Intermarche, where we spent €35, Euros, 35 49 and this is what we got. So, not a great deal, but some really important things. Um, these are gorgeous, especially again for the heat. We always crave a nice cold drink. And these are zero sugar. You should put a dash in, it's like dilute pop. So we have that with sparkling water or with just plain water, lovely. Um, just to go with the kids breakfasts they always have like an assortment of sugary gorgeous stuff so they'll have a croissant maybe a waffle or one of these a bit of fruit an actimel or a yogurt something like that we got some hummus we got favorite butter ever me and ryan love this butter it's got like big chunks of sea salt in it's lovely we got some coffee we always like to try different ones nice strong coffee lady grey my favorite tea um we get this mayonnaise because ryan's got a mustard allergy i may have told you before so this is sun tart which means no mustard obviously got two of those just nice to get stacked up with those we've got a pizza base because the kids enjoy doing a pizza one night for tea or last night we filled it and folded it over and made like a calzone that was lovely and these are just snack naughty noodle pots which we have in the cupboard because you know they're like a bit of a treat now and again um yeah so that is the intermarche shop i'm gonna get that put away and then i will show you the good stuff the fresh stuff righty then so we nip to the boulangerie we've got two baguettes these are the tradition baguettes which we like best i think you pay like pence more for the tradition baguette and they're just i think the 
I don't know, I'm not going to say fresher because it's all obviously fresh bread, but I don't know, I think it's like bio ingredients or something, they just taste amazing, so we always try and get the tradition baguettes, which I think are available at most of the boulangeries in France, and we've got six croissants in there, which will do us three days for the kids' breakfast, and that was 10.60. And then we went over to the fruit and veg shop. Just a little loot. We've got avocados, tomatoes, plums, spinach, lettuce, peppers and cucumber. We've already got a little bit of fruit in as well at the minute, which is why I didn't get more fruit. Um, and we spent £22.94 there. Hi. Oh honey, I've been food shopping. <laughs> Go on. Now what you usually do is you open it and you mention one thing that I didn't get and you'll go, did you get this there? And you'll somehow mention the only thing that I forgot to get. I don't know how you do that every time. Did you get me any nuts? I got you nuts, yes. Oh, fantastic. Yes, I got you nuts, yeah. Um, Look at me. Ah. Did Look, you get me? I've got the favourite sea salt oh, chunky yes. butter, chunky sea salt butter. Oh, so you, you've not been to, well, you've been both? I went to all four of them. Oh, wow. I went am? to all four. Wow. We've got... I'm starving. Our favourite dilutes. Well, not that one. We're not getting on that one. No, it's like mouthwash. It is like mouthwash. It's but weird as hell swallowing I think it. that's our favourite. The citron is beautiful. Very mm. refreshing and zero sugar. Best with um, fizzy water. We. Oui. I've okay. got your San Moutard mayonnaise. Unfortunately, you didn't. Why? This is the wrong one. Oh, why? It says uh, San Moutard on the front. Where? Oh, yeah, it does. Sorry. I saw yeah, this the other day. Don't do that to me. I bought oh. two of those. Sorry. I saw this the other day and I thought, that's not what I normally get, it's a different package. It must I it says looked, this as well. I don't I, know what that means. Uh just see Golza. <laughs> I looked for the San Mutar. Oh I know what that must mean. With sunflower oil or something like that, oh, in it. Oh okay. Don't scare me like that. Sorry, I, it, do you know what? Because I was look obviously I didn't I just saw that from the shop. Yeah, and, and you that's can't read the San Mutar from there, mm. but normally it's quite big, but they've changed it, they've added something else. I just want to get a piece of bread now and dip it in. Did you get me some bread? Of course I got you bloody bread. Jeez. I'm starving, mate. I'm starving. What's new there, then? <laughs> You're like a teenager swinging on cupboard doors. I'm an hungry man. Growing lad. I'm a growing lad. <laughs> It's bought, isn't it? Mm. I'm just going to get a bit of bread. Oh, no, I'm not going to do it. Go for it. Go for it. Is this from Maker? Is? is it a tradition? It's a tradition. Oh, baby. It's a tradition to get that. You know oh. how to get me going, don't you? Tradition baguette and mayonnaise. What did you get for me, Mummy? So there we have it guys, I have just totted up my four food bills for today, which comes to a total of 204.68 euros. Um, and I roughly do that, what you've seen me do today, every 10 days-ish. And then in between, there'll be like nips to the boulangerie, and if we run out of dog food or something like that, obviously we'll do a quick shop trip. But that is the bulk spend. Um, and then we spend 70 euros a week on the season meal delivery, which I've showed you previously. It's like the little fresh microwave meals that come and they are just handy to have in the fridge for lunches, mine and rice lunch in the daytime. Um, so, you know, if I was being savvy, savvy, I could obviously knock that down a bit further. Um, but we're all quite satisfied with our meals. I definitely don't think we ever go without. We always seem to be happy with what we have. We eat as fresh as we can. We've got a good variety there. Yeah, and then obviously if we eat out at a restaurant or whatever, that's an extra on top, which is like a treat. 
Um, but that is the like basics of our home shopping bill, really. And yeah, that's the cost of our food in the south of France. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a while since I've done a come shopping with me foodie vlog and things have changed a little bit since that one. So I thought I'd give you an update. Hope you enjoyed it. I know a lot of you love to see the food kind of thing and what France has got to offer food wise. Um, so yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed already, I would love to have you around don't forget to click the button and the little bell button at the side which is it'll just give you a notification every time i post a new video so you can stay up to date that would really help my channel thank you and i hope to see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye do you remember me telling you about this like that i'd ordered it off amazon and i was waiting for it to come so i could finish making all my apricot jam well guess what the kids and ryan ate all the apricots the fridge was full of them they've gone all the jam that i made i made i made like the trial jams didn't i so i made one really apricotty one and one smooth one both gone and every single apricot has been eaten honestly i think i could count on one hand how many i had so they've gone so that box that i waited forever to arrive is now gonna have to do for my figs because my fig trees are flourishing they will be ready in the next few weeks i've got two fig trees in the garden and there are hundreds of figs on those trees so there will be lots of fig jam making so watch out for that